So... How do you find yourself in this predicament? You don't say. Hey there, Biz414 here, back with another City Life episode, and today I want to work on this bank a little bit more, um, and uh, before I get started I want to take a look at how the sugarcane farm is doing, the one that we worked on last week. Um, on the way down there, I uh, will mention I was going to try to do a time lapsey thing. I have to. Uh, I have a cam account, a secondary account. And I was going to try and set him up somewhere and have him watch me build the uh, the bank. But unfortunately, my computer can't handle it right now. Uh, I only have one hard drive right now and uh, it just slows my frames down too much to try and run two Minecrafts and record all on one hard drive. So unfortunately I won't be able to do that. Um, so I don't know if I'll do a little time lapse -y thing in this perspective or not. We'll see. But uh, I've been on for a little bit today. I've accumulated quite a bit of sugar cane, so the production on this thing is not too bad. Um, I've just been down here today working on clearing some more of this area out, which is coming along pretty nicely. Um, I'll probably take it lower than this. Right now we're at y equals 11, so I'll probably take it all the way down to bedrock in some areas. But near the uh, near near the lava pools and whatnot, get up here to get a better view. Like I'll probably turn this into a. I don't want to get knocked off of here. All right, you're fine now. Um, I'll probably turn this into a lava river. And as I uncover it, there might be more lava lake going on over in here that I could connect this to. Um. But as you can see, it kind of does a meandering thing right here. If you, uh, if I remove the obsidian and turn it in and replace it with some lava, take that out, continue through here, connect these ones, maybe widen it in a few areas. Just make sure that slime's not coming to get me. Come back around here, and same thing. You could, uh, or I could, <laughs> remove the obsidian, and uh, then we've got a little. Little kind of a lake. I'm, I probably wouldn't leave it as a lake. I would probably connect it to that lava lake over there, maybe. Uh, I don't remember how big that is. But we'll see. Um, some of those decisions I'm not going to be able to make until I get this whole area under town cleared out. And then I'll start to be able to kind of decide how, how the lava river is going to run. And if I have any little lava ponds or maybe even some, some regular water ponds where they will go so basically I gotta get it all cleared out first and then I can start kind of landscaping it a little bit more so that's just an idea of the progress I've made here so I'm gonna head back up top and get started oh here we go it just harvested so it must have turned tonight I don't remember what it was at before, but that's what it is now. So, not too bad. It's definitely accumulating quicker than my my little mini farm upstairs, which is still running. So I've got two sugarcane farms running, and then my uh, little melon farm, my little pumpkin farm, and my little cactus farm. That's all the automation I've done so far but that will be changing all right i'm gonna have a quick sleep and i will get started and i will be back with you when i've made some progress all right
All right, I'm back, and uh, there it is. There's the bank exterior finished. Um, we'll go over and look at it in a second. I'm just up here on my mountain. It's a place I like to go to get a good overall view of the town and its progress. Um, it's about half the size of the big tower of the skyscraper, uh, which is about what I was anticipating. It's a good size. Um, I don't really want anything to come near to this size. The statue's taller than this building. Uh, I don't really foresee having any other buildings in town any taller than that, um, than the bank. So that'll probably end up being next to the statue, second tallest structure in the town. If you, well, not including that giant tree over there. I think that's taller than that. That's where the uh, tree house in the library, in the center of the library is. So yeah, let's go ahead and get over there. Miss the bridge. Okay. Let's go ahead and get over there and take a closer look real quick. And a jumping beacon should be taking effect. This guy keeps scaring the heck out of me. He, like, looks like he's running at me. I don't know what he's in such a hurry for, but it worries me. It's like you're going to attack something. You're looking for trouble. All right, so there we go. A little bit of a closer look. It's just the same pattern as we had on the first floor going all the way up. And uh, I moved, one other thing I did is I moved this dollar sign out one block. It was pressed right up against this wall. I pulled it out one block, and I think it looks a little better. All right, now the first floor here was already done. Um, so here's what we've got so far. A whole lot of nothing waiting to be filled up. Um, I've got to do the staircase. At the ceiling on this floor and then continue on up uh, my plan is for this floor to be some cubicles so I'll probably have like a little a little receptionist desk right here in this little nook and uh, then I'll probably have cubicles running um, I don't know what the best way to do it will be. I'm thinking that I'll probably have an aisle running here and then have little cubicles that you access like that, you know, from a little walkway on the outside edge. Do the same thing over here. And uh, I might even be able to get another row of cubicles right here depending on how narrow I make these walkways and whatnot. But I'm doubting it. I think I'm just going to have a divider here and then maybe like six little cubicles in this room. And that'll be like the loan officers for the bank. And then the third floor will be, um, we'll have like a big conference, we'll have a big conference room and like a break room and stuff like that kind of, uh, you know, public community, not public, but work community areas, you know, places for meetings and whatnot. The fourth floor will be a couple of executive offices. Um, maybe, I think I'll be able to fit in like two offices starting at like this wall. I'll do like a, I'll, or this post, I'll do like a wall across and then split it down the middle probably, have two offices. So some of these windows in the center here might need to turn into sandstone. We shall see. And then the top floor is going to be reserved for, like, the, the presidential office, the president of the bank's office. So that's a lot of stuff to work on. I'm going to do most of it off camera. Um, right now it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> so I am going to take a little bit of a sleep break in real life 
and then I'll work more on this and come back hopefully with a few floors if not all of them finished it just depends on how long it takes so I will do what I can and I'll be right back bye bye all right I'm back uh, it's been quite a bit of time um, I ended up having to go to the nether to gather some quartz and go to uh, my mesa biome to get some andesite uh, my current area I don't have andesite underneath of this of this area in this world generation where I'm at now so I have to go to newer chunks to get it so bit of a hassle but not too big of a deal I still managed to get quite a bit done here so let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, I will say though I do have one floor left to do I've got the uh, president's office or the CEO's office left to do um, so I'll do that at a later date uh, I got the other th three levels done uh, first level right here is kind of the like the office drone workers area uh, we got like the receptionist desk here a little table with a tree potted plant on it that was my farms harvesting downstairs um, these are file cabinets I usually use droppers as file cabinets like backwards facing droppers um, and then these are the cubicles I was thinking about using um, just normal blocks here but I decided to try out the doors and I kind of like it I kind of like the spruce doors here as the walls of the cubicle and I ended up making four little cubicle little bitty offices here for our loan officers we've got some lighting hidden underneath of these shrubberies and also underneath of the desks right there also there so continuing on upstairs and the, the floor and the ceiling is the same on all the levels thus far here we've got a little break room I've got jack-o'-lantern hidden underneath these pistons here which make up our fridge we've got a sink a couple stoves I've got a little bit more lighting hidden there under there under there it's hidden good enough anyway and then these are just like a conference room break room type of things just multi-purpose larger meeting areas in the bank so that's the third floor so then the fourth floor is the executive offices so we've got another receptionist desk here a few more file cabinets um, and then these are the offices and I, I made them both the same I might put some paintings on the wall or something like that to make them a little different uh, the placement of their potted plants is different so I got a cactus up there on top of the file cabinets and by the way lighting hidden there and there oops yeah so there's where the lighting's hidden in that room and then in this one we've got you know same place for the lighting but then uh, potted plants are here so he's got a pair of cacti here next to his or her larger shrubbery and uh, that's it for that level. I might add like another little table here with the shrubbery, but I don't really, I didn't really want to have one of those on every floor. Um, I also might toy around with making like a water cooler to place right here or something like that. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then this up here is just a big empty room right now. This will be the presidential tower or presidential office. Got a little bit of a balcony overlooking the stairwell. And then a nice view from up here out over the uh, out over the wall. You can see the ocean and whatnot. The beach. So pretty good view for the CEO up here. I would say. So yeah, so that's the bank build thus far um, 
just got to finish off that that CEO's office and do a little bit more uh, fiddling around with some of the uh, aesthetics in here a little more decorative items maybe swap out some of the cacti for flowers or some of these shrubs for flowers it might even add a few more flower pots around we shall see but uh, that's gonna do it for me for today I think um, made quite a bit of progress on this thing today uh, or over over the weekend anyway I've been working on this all throughout my weekend uh, Friday night through Sunday night so just doing it in my free time as I'm as I'm able in between Valentine's Day festivities and children and so on and so forth so that's it Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.